ain't giving no proof like he gave Gideon. Gideon needed proof. Yes. Uh -huh. And Gideon needed to see something in order to believe God, but he didn't give this woman no proof. He just gave her a promise. Can, can you bless God yes. off a promise yes. without the proof? Yes. Can, can, can you come in the church and lift up holy hands off a promise? Even though you haven't seen the proof. Can I get away? come to believe that there's two kinds yes. of praises in the church. The first kind of praiser needs proof. And they come to church and praise the Lord because they because you have seen what God has done for you all week long. He's opened doors. He made ways. Come on, somebody. He gave you proof that he is Jehovah Jireh. He gave you proof that he is a healer. He gave you proof that he will fight your battles. He gave you proof and you dance and you shout and you praise the Lord and you thank God. But that's another kind of praiser. And that's the kind of praiser I want to be. I don't come to church with proof. My car is still jacked up. My marriage is still jacked up. My family is still jacked up. My health is still jacked up. But I got a promise connected. So I enter in his courts with thanksgiving. Come on, somebody. And his gates with praise. I don't need proof. All I need to know is that the Lord will make a way somehow. Because I got proof. I got a promise. Can I get a witness? You ought to be able to come to church with cancer in your body. Because God gives you a promise. You ought to be able to come to church broke. Because he said one day you're going to be the lender instead of the borrower. You ought to be glad that you can come to church while your child is in trouble. And you still can give God the glory. Because his promise is if you raise them up in the admonition of the Lord, then they will come back. Is there somebody here? You ought to be glad that God raised unemployed you. Because his promise is I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor is seed begging for bread. All I need is a promise from God. I done matured a little bit. I don't need proof. I just need a promise. Can I get away to somebody? So she had, first of all, to allow God to revise her plan. Secondly, she had to allow God to she had to rely on God's promise. And the reason why I like God when he makes a promise. It's simply because when God makes a promise to you, he shifts the weight off of you and he shifts it onto him. Because the Bible does say that God is not slack at his promise and God does not lie. Can I get a witness? Flour. He may not have no flour now and no oil now, but don't promise her new stuff. God promises her to take the old stuff that she's working with and make it last forever. Can I get a witness? See, some of us don't like the old stuff to last forever. That's why marriages are breaking up. That's why relationships are breaking up because we in this time where we don't want things that are old to last. Y'all ain't got to say nothing to me if you don't want to. I'm preaching under the anointing of God. See, we don't like the old stuff. We want to put the old stuff out to the pasture. But if it had not been for the old stuff, some of us wouldn't be here tonight. And God said, I'm not taking this old stuff, but I'm going to keep the old stuff. I'm going to build the old stuff. I'm going to work with the old stuff. I'm going to make it come out like 